Okay, so let's do some details. Let's come up here and let's create a cylinder. Let's go auto grid. And we'll just place that on there. Bring that up. Right click. Let's make this. Ten sets. Let's bring up the height just a bit more. Uh, segments. It's going to select these and I'm going to bring these up just a bit. Let's get up close and personal. Press F12. And in the Z, if the wall, we'll just bring that up. I just want to try <clears throat> something here. I'm going to increase that. Actually, uh, it's good. Yeah, don't listen to me. Uh, material is so clear. I'll just bring, <coughs> excuse me, and change this to clear. I mean, black. Oops. Framing on this beauty. And just bring this up. Revert to edible poly. Grab this face and we'll delete. And then we'll just undo. Just to make sure we have this selected. We're going to extrude. Let's just bring this. Ooh, let's hold down. Let's right click and bring that out. Hit OK. And then let's go into wireframe mode and going to flatten these out back to shaded now I just want to select on these again and because my uh, indicator is down there I'm going to press F12 and we'll just do it this way So I'm just going to deselect this guy and press F12 again and we'll just bring these down just a touch. And then we'll just grab these edges, do a loop and
do this. I'll just uh, quickly select these edges. Like so. And we'll do a nice chamfer. Right click. Harden down Alt. And just bring that down to about there. Hit OK. So now far away from it. Shaded edge faces. See if we can. Uh, dun, dun, dun. So let's try my this a bit smoother. Want to smooth? Move, ice line display to let's turn off edged faces. Okay, we just need to do some edge work here. So we'll go back to Edible Putty. And Add an edge. Okay, let's isolate this. Let's frame up on it. Okay, we'll grab the edges here. We'll do a um, ring. Do a connect. We'll do two segments and we'll just pinch those out. Okay. What we can do is connect those two, three, four, connect these, and connect these guys. So that gives us one, two, three, four. So nice and even there, and we'll grab an edge here, do a ring, and do a connect, um, and okay, let's see what a turbo smooth looks like. This edge and do a ring, do a connect, and we'll slide this bad boy here. Okay, and we'll do another one, and we'll slide this guy down to here. And to keep these shapes on the end, we need another edge in the center to hold that in place. Uh, right click, OK. And let's see what that looks like. Let's turn off our edge faces. OK. Nice soft rounding off at the top. I think we can actually make that uh, a little bit tighter. So what we're going to do, we'll just grab this edge and do a ring and we'll do a connect. And we'll slide this to the top. And 
yep, a nice sharp edge at the top. Okay, exit. I'll go and select this guy. There we go. It's quite nice. going to select all these and isolate those and we'll grab these guys actually we'll just grab this Just bring this down just a bit and, and these guys. So we're going to do virtually the same process over here. We have auto grid arm, we'll just increase the size, right click. If we go to the top view, we'll try and match the uh, radius uh, with this piece we'll do some polygon not so much uh, turbo smooth actually yeah why not we'll just go back to the original so it's a uh, spot on there so we'll go out and we'll go back into perspective. Compared to edible poly. So grab this face and delete. Actually we'll bring this up into there. And delete uh, this edge we'll loop and bring this up because we can use that and I'm going to grab the bottom edge and just bring in and delete and um, Backspace this because grab this guy, do a ring, do a connect, and we'll just pinch okay. So we just reset select it and center to object just so everything's in its working order and collapse all so now when I touch this guy two segments let's bring these uh, down Grab 
this to a to an extrude or right click local normal and we'll just bring these out Now, I am muddling my own fridge here. Let's bring this in. Control click the edges there. Do a ring, do a connect. Uh, right click, pinch these guys up. Frame connect and OK, and here to a ring and a connect. Let's add a turbo smooth. want to hold that edge in place so let's grab these and do a connect hit ok during do a connect some of these turbo smooth ok Editor Okay, not bad, not bad at all. So for here, we'll select these, do a ring, and do a connect, do two segments, and we shall zoom in and just pinch these guys out like so. Go to um, Polygon, and so in the left view, if we make this uh, left, we want to select the Select all the bottom ones like so, and then we're going to control click and drag the top. Go back into perspective mode, and we're going to extrude uh, local normal. Oh, right click. Just a little bit, not too much, just so it makes a nice little um, indentation. Zero point 
six. Let's try zero point six. Okay, that's good enough. We'll just check uh, our geometry over here, and it's still the same. Which is good. Uh, we'll check everything's fine down here. This stuff you don't really need to worry about because uh, we're not going to be zooming in on uh, this guy. But I think for these guys, um, we'll add time and snaps. And we'll snap to the top of these. And these guys will bring down to here. Purely because it's booking me. Grab these guys and we'll snap to the here. Okay, and now I might as well do these because these will be booking me as well. Grab all these guys and snap to here. Sure these are straight. Going to snap to these guys here, which makes better sense. If you ask me, so we'll just frame up on these guys, and it's these two. Now I am uh, snapping to vertex. Okay. Gives you a nice little, little detail. job of cleaning up those rough edges so if I undo that we have these uh, rough edges select the piece and um, we'll just auto smooth this guy not turbo smooth but smooth and auto F4 and it's uh, now I think we can add a it's edge to a loop.
and we'll do a chunter. Hit OK. And we'll do the same for down here. Do a loop and do a chunter. OK. Press F4. Put on a smooth. Checking these edges here. It's fine. Collapse all, yes. Because I won't be editing this uh, anymore. So that's why I collapse the stack. Now, because we have this one done, what we'll do is we'll just delete uh, this guy. And we'll duplicate this guy. So we'll bring this guy down. Okay. F12 and we'll just bring the guy up. Okay. Now we'll just do a quick um, grill down here. And I think we can make a new piece for that. So we'll just make a box auto grid and we'll just bring this. out frame up bring the height bring the length out and the width in and we'll just drag this back. <laughs> Fair to edible poly, and then we'll just grab. These and bring these out to there. Turn on snaps, and in the Y, it will snap to that edge. back, delete it, um, grab these edges and we'll do a chamfer
just so you know, I uh, undid the back face deletion um, because I just wanted to get these edges beveled nicely. Chamfer. Okay, and now I can delete the back face. I'm going to frame up and we'll do an inset right click. Okay. So then we'll do a extrude or right click and we'll bring that in. Hit OK, press delete to delete that face. We'll grab this face here and do a loop and do a chamfer. Hit OK. down just a bit and I'm going to bring these oh, in just a bit I'll show you why in a minute grid we'll make this guy up here and for this guy we'll just give him 24 sides and we'll place that guy turn on snaps Grab this edge and we'll bring in. And we shall duplicate uh, this guy on the back. And okay, grab this one. Well, then shift and drag. Hit OK. Now we'll just grab uh, these guys, do a ring. Same for these, do a ring. Do a connect and let's add. So one, two, three, four. Hit OK and let's go to faces and bridge. Grab all these guys and bridge. guy and let's frame up on this this guy and uh, this guy bridge and this guy and this guy bridge 
Hang on, material editor. Is it isolation mode? Let's frame in on this. Let's unhide the floor. Unhide all, hide the roof. Uh, add selection. And let's spot on. Even if I do say so myself. So let me just check the time. Okay, so for the purpose of uh, saving time, I'm just going to grab see edge faces. Let's uh, open this guy and well, let's duplicate this guy. Okay. Close group. Okay, let's ungroup. And we can group that guy back together. So we can open this guy, um, grab some vats. Grab this little schnitzel. Oh, schnitzel. Just move this guy down and duplicate this guy. Hit OK and open. Maybe a little handle at the top. Uh, stick to my plan. About there. And this one. About 
Dun, dun, dun. And about uh, there. And grab this guy. And we'll bring this guy. Right about there. Okay. So I'm going to grab all of these guys. Isolation mode. And let's do a quick render of that. Okay, so I think for the fridge we are done. Uh, it's looking nice, looking even better textured. Um, I think uh, for the next lesson we'll start a new room. I'm kind of bored of this uh, kitchen. Uh, we'll come back and finish it. Um, actually, uh, no, next lesson we'll do a lesson dedicated to uh, this stove. Um, yeah, and then we'll move on to either a bedroom or the living room. But we might just do uh, some kitchen tables and chairs and stuff. So uh, I haven't decided yet. Uh, let me let me know what you want to do next uh, in comments and uh, we'll work on it. Have fun and see you guys in the next lesson.